So in this episode I'm going to show you a way how you can integrate Svelte into your static traditional site. But also you can use this method to integrate it on your WordPress site, Drupal site, October CMS site and so on. We are, for this we are going to be using Gulp and Webpack. So right here I downloaded the website template, I will put the link to it in the description below if you want to use it for some reason. Uh, and this is just going to represent our site. As you can see it's a normal site, just CSS, fonts, images, some JavaScript and SCSS. Uh, this site came without a build process, so I created a build process using Gulp. And what this Gulp file does is just is going to compile our CSS. Uh, it's going to use browser sync for uh, for uh, refreshing our page and save, and for displaying our page, uh, acting as a server essentially. And then we are just watching those files and doing something on save. So as this is not a Gulp tutorial, I'm not going to go through this code, but we are just going to run this site. Actually, I already run it, uh, but I'm going to run it again. So Gulp watch, and we can just see how the site looks like. This is not uh, a site that you can use without attribution. So I'm just going to go to uh, the bottom of the site. And as you can see, this is the attribution for the site. You should leave that here if you're going to be using this sort of template. And as you can see, this is our site. It's currently running on localhost 3000. So I can do something like uh, in my Gulp file, something like uh, if I go to main.js, uh, my main.scss, right here so as you can see we are just importing some stuff right here and I can ju just do something like body and uh, BG is going to be black so if I save this go to my site as you can see this is now black and if I return again just delete this save it now this is white okay so as you can see this is the way our gulp file works now, what do we want to do in this episode? So I want to go to this site and let's say around about here. So we are just going to use the footer for this. Right about here, let's say I want to have some functionality that is going to require some interaction. Now, of course, I can do that with vanilla JavaScript. Also, I can do it with something like view. So integrating view like this, like we are going to integrate Svelte, uh, would be actually much easier because uh, view is not a compiler. So you can just take the view library, import it to in your site. So just with script tags, just call it like you would uh, jQuery and you're good to go. You can just start using view. But with Svelte, it's a bit different because Svelte is a compiler. So you need to add a build step. So whenever you change something in your Svelte files or your JS files, that compiler will pick that up and compile your code. So I'm just going to show you how you can quickly do that if you're using something like Gulp. Okay, so how is this going to work? Well, first of all, I'm just going to go right here and create a new file and I'm just going to call it component component.svelte. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a file called svelte.js. Okay, so now we have component.svelte and we have uh, svelte.js. Now this svelte.js can be your index.js file if you are already using something like Webpack. So you can put anything you want in it. So in this file, I'm just going to import that component. We are importing it from component.svelte. And once you import it, you need to uh, say to that component, where do you want to display it on the page? And to do that, you would just do const app equals to new component. And then we are just going to define where we want to display that component. So target is going to be document query selector and we are just going to call the uh, div that we are going to add that component to just call it that app and then we want to export 
So of course you can do this in your normal index.js file. But since uh, all of our JS is already compiled right here, jQuery and so on, I'm just going to create a new file, which is going to be this one. And we are going to compile that file. Now in our component Svelte, uh, we can just go to the Svelte's website and I'm just going to copy, let's say this code right here. Okay, copy this code. So this is just a basic example of what Svelte can do. Now the next thing we need to do, we need to uh, import that svelte.js file, which we are going to be compiling into a JS directory. Uh, we need to import it on our index.html page. So I'm going to go down here. So down here to the end of the page and I'm just going to import that here. So I'll do something like svelte.js, save it. Uh, so we are calling svelte.js, which, which is going to be compiled at some point. And then just above the footer, so this is the footer area, we are going to add our app div here. Okay, so everything we write in this component right here is going to be displayed here. So of course, since this is Svelte, this is Svelte component, you can add your HTML right here, your styles here, uh, your scripts and so on. Okay, save this and that's about it. So this is our preparation. Everything is done right here. Now all we need to do, we need to create, uh, we need to set up our gulp file for it to compile this Svelte.js file. Uh, to call this component into it, and then to display everything on our index.html. So to do that, we are going to be needing three things. So npm install. Uh, so we are, of course, going to be needing Webpack. Uh, then we are going to be needing a Webpack stream. And next thing we are going to be needing is Svelte loader. So you just let this install. Okay, so once this is installed, we can uh, create our gulp file or our gulp tasks, right? So first of all, I'm just going to just uh, require a webpack and webpack stream right here. So we are requiring webpack, we are requiring webpack stream, and then uh, we want to define a new task, which we are just going to call uh, pack. So pack, because we can't call it webpack because we already have this, that's called webpack. So I'm just going to call it pack. And then first of all, I'm just going to define a mode right here uh, because you need to do that. Otherwise webpack is just going to uh, spew out some warnings for you when you're uh, compiling your files. Uh, and then we want to return src, which is going to be svelte.js. Of course, this can be different for you if you already have uh, a setup, right? Uh, you have your build process processes done. So we are going to take this svelte.js file and we are going to compile it. So we are going to do pipe. Webpack stream. And in webpack stream, we are going to define an output. Uh, because we want the file name to be svelte.js also. And this file is going to end up in our JS folder at the end, because in index.html, we are calling it uh, from the JS folder. Okay, uh, next thing we need to do, uh, we need to define our module and define some rules. So this is just pure vanilla uh, webpack code. You can take this code and put it in your webpack build process if you're not using something like gulp. Okay, so you have rules and then uh, you would do write this. 
I'm just going to paste this in. So we are testing for that svelte files. Uh, some people use HTML files, uh, but we are going to be using svelte files. We are excluding node modules and we are uh, using svelte loader that we installed just a second ago. Uh, then after that, we are just going to define mode so that Webpack would leave us alone. And then right here, I'm just going to do Webpack. Okay, and uh, next thing I'm going to do one more pipe and this pipe is going to say where do we want to deliver this svelte.js file so you would define a destination for it. So you would do gulp dest and it's going to go into it's going to go into our JS directory. I think that's about it. So this is our build process. Okay, save this. Now, uh, let's test this out. How, how can we test this out? So I can define a task right here, which I'm going to call uh, pack. And then I can just run it with gulp pack. Okay, SRC is not defined. Okay, so this should be gulp src. I'm sorry. Let's try it again. Okay, so I think the problem is with this actually, we should do dot uh, slash or dash, save it. Let's try it again. Okay, so I figured the problem is actually, uh, you also need to install Svelte, right? We forgot to do that which is a pretty basic step. Uh, sorry about that. So install Svelte and then we can run pack. So gulp pack. Okay, so as you can see, we got svelte.js compiled. Uh, and if we go right here, you can see it here, right? So this is our webpack compiled svelte.js file. Now, if I run gulp watch and open the page, now down here, we, sh we should have this button and if we click on it, it works, right? So it works just like this uh, Svelte application right here, this code right here actually. Okay, so that's great, uh, but of course we don't wanna run gulp pack every time we make a change to this component, so we need to automate it this a bit. So to automate it, uh, you would just go to your code editor, of course, and then in your gulp file down here, in your watch files, so we wanna watch for uh, JS files or svelte.js file, and we wanna watch for svelte files. So I'm just going to paste this in. Right, so we are going to be watching gulp watch svelte.js and we are also watching everything that svelte. So whenever we make a change to either svelte.js file or svelte file, uh, we are going to first uh, run a pack. So we are going to run this right here, this task, and then we are going to run browser sync reload so that our page uh, automatically reloads and we, we can see the changes. Okay, so let's save this, uh, quit out of this and run gulp watch again. So now if we go down here, uh, clicked one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So let's change uh, something about this component. So I can go uh, to my code editor and we go to component and let's say this would count uh, by five. So if I save this, go to my browser, uh, I think this already refreshed. And then if I click it, as you can see, five, 10, 15, 20 and so on. Also, you can do something like style and do button, which is going to be BG of red, have a pairing of 20 pixels, for example. 
Now if we go right here, as you can see, our button has changed and everything works. Okay, so that would be one way of how you can compile Svelte into your traditional website project, right? As I said, you could use this code uh, on WordPress, on Drupal, on October CMS, uh, in your Gulp file, or if you are using Webpack for all your build needs, uh, you can just copy this code practically, I don't think, without practically any changes to it uh, into your webpack.config.js file. So as I said, this is how you would do it. So anyway, this has been it for this episode, guys. Remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. I will link, uh, leave the link in the description below. And of course, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.